Now that we have the index of the player who just won, we can select them out of our player's array and then send them some amount of money from our contract. So inside of the pick winner function, right underneath index, we can access the address of the person who just won by writing players at index, like so. This is a reference to our players array, which we had defined as a variable at the top of this contract. And then we can access a particular index inside that array by using the square bracket notation right here, just like as we usually would with JavaScript. So nothing new in that regard. Recall that we are storing a list of addresses inside the players array. So when we say players at index, that's going to return to us an address. Addresses inside of Solidity are not just like numbers or text hash values. They are actually objects of a sort that have some different properties tied to them. So this right here, players.index, just to be really clear, would be something like, you know, 0x, blah, 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 a, b, c, d, blah, blah, blah. On this hash, we can call a collection of different methods to somehow work with this address. In this case, we can send some money to this address by calling dot transfer. So that's a function that is available on every address that we store inside of Solidity. So again, it's not like a plain number, it's not like a string, even though addresses look like one, they have some number of methods tied to them. The transfer function will attempt to take some amount of money from the current contract and send it to this given address right here. So for example, if I said dot transfer one, that would attempt to transfer one way over to this particular address. But in this case, you and I don't want to send just one way, we want to send all of the way, all the ether that is contained inside the current contract. To reference the amount of, of ether that exists inside the current contract, we can say simply this dot balance. This is a reference to the instance of the current contract and then balance is the amount of money that the current contract has available to it. So this is going to take all of our money from the current contract, all the money that has been entered into this lottery and then send it to this particular address right here. Now, I think that we're just about at an area where we can start to test this out inside of Remix. I am gonna, uh, there's one thing I wanna be very clear on. This is not the last line of code that you and I are gonna write right here. So you and I are gonna write some other code inside this contract, but before we move on, I just wanna test out this pick winner function and make sure that it's at least somewhat behaving in the way that we expect. So I'm going to pull up the sidebar over here. I'm gonna make sure I delete any existing instances of lottery. I'm gonna make sure that I have selected the JavaScript virtual machine. So this is the network that is running inside the browser. And then I'll create a new instance of the lottery contract. And here it is. Now the first thing we have to do is remember to enter the lottery. So you and I have to make sure that we specify some amount of ether up here towards the top as the value. So I'm gonna say, how about just, we'll enter with one ether, we'll make it simple and then I can click enter. Now, of course, we don't see a lot happen. If you see over on the console down to the bottom right hand side, you should see a new transaction appear. If we put in a zero for players, we'll see our address appear right here. So here's 1472, and that matches up with my current account that I have selected. So now I should be able to attempt to call the pick winner function, which should randomly pick a number select some given index and send that player all the money. In this case, we only have one person, which is us, you and me, inside of this player's array. Index is going to work even if there is only one entry inside of there. So when we call pick winner, that's going to instantly send us back the one ether that we had deposited. Now to just be really sure, at our account total up here right now, you'll notice that we have 98.99 ether. So when we click pick winner, we should see this amount right here go back up to roughly 99 ether. All right, so let's give it a shot. I'm gonna click on pick winner down here. You'll notice that we get the transaction appearing on the bottom left-hand side. And then it appears that, yep, our account has gone up to 99 ether, which means that the pick winner function is definitely working the way we expect. Okay, so that definitely is a good little bit of progress. But like I said, this is not the last line of code that you and I are gonna write we still have to do a pretty good amount of work on this contract. 
So let's continue in the next section, and I'm going to point out a couple of things that are a little bit awkward about our lottery contract right now. So some things that we still need to work on. So quick break, and I'll see you in just a minute.